Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Coltec 1706 Deep Sea Challenger. Let's get started. Wow, look at this thing. It's big. All right, so we are on the Coltex, Coltex, Colt X 1706 Deep Sea Challenger, and this is today's hot spot. And this is by Root and Toot and Cowboy, and uh, it's huge. And I had thought originally that it was a, uh, you know, like a build on top of the oil well, but this is a separate thing, a separate vehicle. And I'm just gonna jump down here and uh, try to make my way down to. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, almost dead. But uh, yeah, so I think we want to get to this thing. Can we go any lower than this? I don't know. Oh wait, that looks like a ladder. And uh, anyways, this is, yeah, this is a separate build. Oh, uh, oh, crap. Should probably take off damage. I'm gonna die by falling, uh, player damage. Okay, so anyways, yeah, this is huge. And we're gonna have to read the directions to figure out how to do this. What is that? Is that the control room? Let's open this up. All right. Ooh, okay. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so let's read the directions. All right, so it says this mission features three different wells to pump from. The, I think it's Vern? Wavern? I don't know how you say that. Wavern Plateau, Balfour Trench, and Sarnath Plateau. If the well is spawned in below the seafloor, use the seed, which I did. 20165 it says the deepest challenger is a semi submersible oil and gas production platform capable of operating in up to 300 meters of water, operated by the Coltex, Coltex Drilling Inc., and currently leads to whatever, blah, 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 yada, yada. I'm not going to read all that. And uh, yeah, so let's see what it has here. All right, let's just go through the features. It's dynamic positioning, 300 meter max operating depth, Argo mini submersibles. I think that's them right there. Uh, let's see, I guess it can go four knots. Pretty impressive, I guess, for this big thing. Uh, 5X Kostrom Marine KM6360 diesel generators, three lifeboats. Oh, those are lifeboats, never mind. Full size helipad, working blowout preventer, and three times Olsen Marine cranes. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's uh, follow these directions now, I guess. Open the moon pool from the control room. Open move pool. It's moving. Okay. Uh, oh, it's just kind of bouncing. Okay, it says begin lowering the BOP blowout preventer. The blowout preventer? Where is that at? Upper, lower. Oh boy, this is like way over my head. I have no idea what this stuff does. Do I lower it? Oh, this is a BOP. Okay. Uh-oh! Okay. Wait, can we get to a camera feed here? Okay, is this the thing? Do I just lower it more? I don't I don't understand. I need a tutorial for this. Okay, uh let me just lower it. It's lowering. How do I wonder have a camera on the thing I'm about? The drill. Drill deck. Yeah, there's no drill camera. So Alright. Is this the actual... Oh, that's the length of the riser, so... Is that... Is it going any deeper? I can't tell. I think it stopped. Let's turn on the... Hmm. I think we need the submersible now. I have no idea what that stuff is. Let's see here. Um... Do -do 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 -do. Wait, how do I get out of here? Well, how do I get it down? Oh, wait, I have to use a crane? Seriously? This is way too much work for me. Yeah, I think this is going to be more of a tour than an actual do, because I don't know what to do to do what I want to do. So, that thing went down after I broke it on the wall, apparently. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Ah, oof. Yeah. All right, let's go back over here and see... Use a mini. There's no directions. I don't know. You must. Uh... <sighs> All right. All right. Let's go up here. Not. Not there. Oh. Wait. What? I mean, it could be this one, right? I feel like that's for the boat. Hmm. 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 
So the rest of the directions say, use a mini sub to adjust the final positioning. Yeah. And then it says to, you know what, let's just, let's just lower this sucker down. Uh, then it says to, what does it say? It says upper annular, lower annular, nothing. <laughs> Start, is that good? Is it green good? No. Uh, okay, well I got green light, so that's a plus, right? But there's no well pressure or anything like that. So this is one of those things where I should actually have the person come on here and show me what to do because the instructions are a little light and I have no idea how an oil rig works. So uh, yeah, this kind of kind of not a fun video when you don't know what you're doing. Drill floor. Okay. And uh, yep, yep. Just going to go through here and uh, look. This video is not too good. So let's just go ahead and take a quick video tour. All right, so this is one of those videos where I really don't know how to work the thing. I really need the person to come on here with me and actually show me what to do or someone that's familiar with oil rigs, apparently. So what we're going to do is just take a quick look at it before we leave and look at the cool build that it is. And you can download this in the description below and give it a try yourself. Maybe you can show me how to do it because I don't know how to do it. So that's it for today. If you haven't done so already, hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a new video. And if you have subscribed, please consider doing so. And don't forget that the Stormy Awards is coming up in October and you're going to want to go ahead and join the Reddit and upvote and suggest and maybe even submit your own build. And then we'll have a successful Stormy Awards 2021. All right. See you next time.